The Diecast Mafia recently invited the community to join them in a wagon build. Any kind of style you wanted to do, any wagon. Well, I got this 64 Chevy Nova Gasser in a recent uh, Hot Wheels Amazon black box. So I thought, okay, it's a wagon. That's my starting point. And as much as I like the look of this wagon, <laughs> as much as I like the look of this gasser, I'm going to mess with it because that's what I do. <laughs> I haven't built a gasland style build for a while. I mean, I know that the uh, Roadkill Meats build recently felt kind of gaslands to some people, but it wasn't. It, uh, it was just a weathered build. For this one, I'm going Gaslands. And uh, <laughs> I apologize if you hear a neighbor's car alarm going off in the background. <laughs> if I seem a little distracted, that's why it's gone off about three times now. Anyhow, on this thing, I decided I don't want the jacked up front end of the gasser, first of all. So I'm sanding down at least those, you know, that the round spots they put to protect the front wheels. So I'm sanding this thing down a little bit to level it out with the back end. And it's not dead on level. I didn't care if it was dead on level, but I was, I was shooting to have it a much more flat look. I'm throwing axle tubes basically under the base of the car. I'm not, you know, doing them above in the channel, anything like that. I'm just uh, cutting some tubing threw some pins through it, tacked them down in place where I wanted them. And now I'm reinforcing that and kind of rounding over it with the CA glue and the uh, baking powder. And yeah, this will strengthen it and uh, smooth the areas out. So it gets, gets it jacked up, which is what I want. I wanted an all the way around jacked up look, not just the front end jacked up. <laughs> So I uh, did this, and uh, I do en end up throwing from one of the real rider sets of wheels that Hot Wheels sells directly. I pulled a set of real riders out of there that I wanted to throw on here. It was from the off-road set, the, the uh, larger wheels and tires. So before I got too far, I remembered to drill this out. I don't tap it again on this one. I use the self-tapping screws. Um, sometimes I tap them, sometimes I don't. Don't ask me why. It just is whatever I feel like doing at the time. <laughs> now, because of something I'm gonna do to this, this car needed to have those back windows reinforced because the top of this wagon is gonna have to be able to take a lot of stress. <laughs> so I had this uh, metal. This was from a KNS. Basically, you can buy these metal, assorted metal bags from them. And they're handy to have because there's all kinds of stuff in there. And, you know, tubing and bars and channels and, you know, sheets of metal, all kinds of stuff. So I've picked up one of those. I'm really tempted to get another one. I've had this one for quite a while. So I cut in some panels, uh, CA glue those in place. Again, this is a Gaswan style build. So I wanted these to look like they were welded in place. And I wanted it to look like, the reason I did two pieces is I wanted them to look like that back door set would still open, uh, yet have some strength to it. And yeah, maybe a goofy idea, but hey, it's my build. So naturally it's goofy. So got those on both sides, and you see some of the little greeblies I have up at the top there. I was messing around with a lot of different ideas. But the one thing I kind of, oh, and there's the uh, kicker. But the one thing I knew I wanted was a big ass gun. <laughs> and I had one handy. So uh, threw that on the roof. And that's why the roof needed to be strengthened. So threw that on there. This, I had the goofy idea. I wanted to strip the chrome off, but I thought, well, I'll put tape around the front and back bumper. 
The Super Queen will probably seep in there and strip some of that chrome off, but I don't care because this thing's going to be beat to hell anyway. So threw this in the Super Queen. Didn't pay attention to it. But, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't. In effect, I took a look at it after a few minutes thinking, okay, I wonder how this is progressing. And it stripped the chrome off super fast. <laughs> So I hit this to hit the body with primer at this point. You see, I did uh, bars in the windows, did them a little different pattern. I get tired of seeing always the mesh or always just straight up and down bars or straight back and forth. You know, I, that's not how it would be. I mean, it'd just be whatever. So there you see, I did paint the body yellow. That's a Model Master uh, lacquer that I threw on there. And then I wanted those back panels to still look metal because I'm going to rust around the edges. I'm going to rust all over this thing. Um, I end up throwing, you know, weird back end on it. I, and I'm not showing you all the detail because there was a lot of stuff that went into this. The velocity stacks on the engine made no sense to me in a gas land situation. But I like the looks of them. So what I end up... I like the elevation it gives the engine. So I sanded them down because I'm going to put this, another little piece of junk I had sitting around. And again, I've got like all kinds of little greeblies and stuff around. I've got pieces from Warhammer sets sitting around. I've got 3D, paint, 3D printed stuff sitting around. This one, I wanted to be this really tough, strong looking, Kind of like air cleaner in a way. A protection for the top of the shortened velocity stacks on the engine. And I wanted it red because of the decals that I end up putting on the body. There's a red one with a number that I chose to put at the back of the car. And so I wanted this to have red up at the front because I like throwing color on these. I like throwing decals on these. I held back on some of the decals. I almost got really carried away <laughs> looking at the choices I had for decals because I've got a bunch of different decals that would really work well on Gaswine's vehicles. And you see what I went with? I went with the number signs back there, the arrows pointing towards the front on the roof, a flaming skull on the driver's side door representing the driver. Um, I did a lot of uh, dry brush weathering on this with different paints. And here I'm throwing the real riders on. I rusted those chrome wheels out with a rust wash. And then I got the idea. I always have a hard time holding the, the axle in place as I'm trying to keep the axle as short as I can. And it dawned on me, throw a ball bearing in there. That'll help press into the axle keep it snug while I'm attaching the other wheel and I end up going just a small portion of axle on there like you've seen me do in one of the short videos and other builds. So here you see it, I've dry brushed dust on here, I've dry brushed null oil on here, I've done all kinds of junk. There you see on, on the, <laughs> the folder on the bench a lot of the uh, dry brushing scars. <laughs> Here's that attachment above the velocity stacks. And I could have faced it either way. I decided to face it with the opening under it towards the front to make it look like that forced air is coming in. Did some silver detail on that as well. And so I just... I threw a bunch of junk at this build. I weathered the heck out of it in a variety of ways. I wanted it to look like it goes through hell and yet it's tough. And so it hasn't been all dented up or hasn't been shot up or anything like that. I kept the downward turning uh, exhaust because I really like how that looks with these wheels. And I could easily see that on this type of car. So yeah, I'm finished with it at this point. And yeah, I didn't show you a lot of the work that went into it. And I'm sorry about that, but you get the idea. It was just a whole lot of dry brushing. Uh, the decals, before I put the decals on, I did put a clear coat, 
lacquer clear through the decals on so that they would seat properly. Then once that had dried, then I went over it with a lacquer flat. A lot of dry brushing, lacquer flat, you know, more dry brushing, rusting around different areas uh, with the rust wash. And yeah, it rolls like a champ. But uh, so there's where we started. I'd like to thank the Diecast Mafia for throwing this invitation out there. They do monthly builds. Um, a lot of times it's tough for me to hit them because I kind of need a, a long time frame to do stuff. <laughs> but that's where it started. Thanks for hosting the Invitational, guys. And uh, I went Gaslands. Here's where it ends up. I kind of like the air cleaner set up on this because I don't recall ever seeing anything like that before. And it looks tough. And I like how it ba balances out with the red of that numbering at the back. And uh, you see the rust in different areas. I do like this uh, wheel and tire combo from Hot Wheels. Those uh, real rider boxes do come in handy. Oh, and there's the driver's symbol, that flaming skull. So there you have it. I hope you like this build, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll let you take a look at the rest of the glamour shots here and uh, check out the other builds in the Invitational. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.